Right there, sir. I want no sudden movements. Now, I recognize that voice. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that who I think it right is? And I will blast your fucking brains out. <laughs> now, now, no need to get rough here. <laughs> Come on. Or am I? <laughs> Come on now, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Or am I? Oh, I thought I'd fucking give you a bit of a scare. I've been nah. following you for fucking ages, mate. You've gone fucking soft. Now, you just got the lucky drop. Now, I got something to tell you. I was expecting somebody else for a second, and I was glad to hear your voice. I just got a letter here. Let me read it out real quick. <laughs> oh, mate. I'll tell you, I don't miss it. I mean, I miss it a lot. Making you shit your pants. Brilliant. You know, one of these times, I'm gonna end up shooting you like that one time where I don't know who you was for a second when you first started doing that voice you did. <laughs> I've still got it. How the fuck have you been? Oh, listen to this real quick. Letter in my hand. Making friends, is it? One second. Oh, uh, what we have here uh, says, Howdy Rocker, your payment is coming up in the next three days. Now make sure to have the payment ready. I have been processed, I have processed our deal over to the blinders of Saint Denis, and any attempts to contact them to, uh, to annul this contract will end in blood. You mess with me, you mess with them. If you attempt to slip out of this contract, I will find you and I will kill you. With that said, I'll see you in a few days, Rocker. I'll send you the letter soon with dealers about the exchange. Good luck, the hey. man in red, Ricky. Mm. Who the fuck's Ricky? A dead man, that's Who the that's fuck's my Peaky Blinders? I'm not sure who they is either. Now, this son of a bitch. What have you gone into? <laughs> now, listen to this. This son of a bitch rides up on me over by Emerald Ranch. Tries to rob me for some money, correct? I don't have any on me at the moment because I just arrived in Odessa and due to my own fortune situation, I lost my money along the way. Me too. Hey, come on, let's walk. My wagon's up with a park to Valentine. All right then. So he decides, I, I, I try to convince him that it's better to work with me than against me considering that we're folks of like-minded individuals. Instead, he's keen on uh, robbing me and trying to uh, uh, extort me for money. Now, he's made a real raw deal with myself, he did. Now, he's about to realize who the silver bastards are real shortly. When I find the son bitch, I will skin him ear to ear like the good old times, Johnny. Like the good oh, old times. Like poor old Marcus. Likewise. Now, I'll have to get you yourself a gun. A better gun than that little killer man you got right there. Yes. I need cash. I need weapons. Lost all my shit on the way here. I've been posing as a stagecoach driver. That's why I'm wearing this fucking ridiculous outfit. I've been doing the same likely as well, but uh, uh what am I doing as well as I sell uh remedies and tonics on the side, mainly honey water and so on. Plus people as some would <laughs> say. Now I'm, I'm clever about it. Now. Yeah, I'm gonna scam out from now until we get the gang back together. Keep your eyes out and peel for uh, potential members. We'll be very careful about it, very careful about who we bring in. 
If we bring them for one job, it doesn't mean they're part of the Silver Bastards. It just means they have that one job until we decide they are ready to be part of who we are. Considering previous mistakes in the past, as you can see. Yeah. Fuck me, we're having to start all over again. Remember when we fucking robbed that judge? Yeah, I remember that. Robbed that fucking train. I now we're back to well. petty thievery. I don't <laughs> like it. Yeah, it's how it is, but we'll be back on top soon enough, Johnny. Soon enough. How long have you been here anyway? I only just arrived myself. I've been here about two weeks myself, and I've already made some acquaintances, made some friends. Oh, I guess more acquaintances than anything else. Are you uh, sure they're friends? Because you know what you're like with making fucking friends, mate. I'm they're not friends. Stabbing you in the back. What I mean is the potential clients for potential jobs. I went to a masquerade ball, believe mm -hmm. it or not. Oh, yeah. Masquerade, is it? Get yeah. a lovely dance. Oh, I'll do some lovely ladies as well. I was tempted to have myself an eighth ex-wife. Hmm. Hello there, sir. I'd have a beer, please, for me and my companion here. Oh, by the That's way. That's right, yes. My name's Owen. Might as well make it on the house. You know, since we're your two new gracious guests. Well, that would be uh, fantastic, actually. I suggest you do that as well, sir. Two beers, please, on the house. Good choice. Make it quick. Ugh. Now, what took you so long to get the Odisha? Well, I had to lay low for a while, didn't I? Uh, after the uh, kidnapping of that uh, individual, well, uh, yeah, things got a little hot, you know. I had to maybe uh, lay low and uh, wait for the uh, the storm to pass, so to see. I don't say how it is. You haven't seen me since that kidnapping, by the way. And I had to lay low from certain situations that I got myself involved in. But here's my thought right now. Here's the process I'm in right now, Johnny. I mean, Owen, Mr. Barkeep, you didn't hear nothing now, did you? Did you? That's what I thought. I'm Owen when I'm wearing this outfit. Don't you fucking forget me. I made a lot of time making this persona. All right, Owen. Now, phase one is recruitment for our lovely little company we have here. Get ourselves situated again. Get ourselves a piece of land here and get ourselves known once more. Meanwhile, we avoid uh, this son of a bitch, uh, Ricky, until we get a couple boys together. He seems he might be by, by himself, but he made a deal with the Peaky Blinders, but I don't think they're going to be allowed to him too much, too uh, intently once they figure out what kind of snake he is. Who the fuck are these Peaky Blinders? I mean, who the fuck are these Peaky Blinders? Let's go back out, or back and talk. Thank you for the drinks, uh, sir. It's been very kind of you, sir. Now why don't you, uh, fuck off? Go on. Now I ain't 100% sure who they is. It sounds like he made some kind of... Let me bring up the paper again, actually, right here. Let's see what it says. They've got a newspaper running here, have they? Well, that'll be helpful. You know what? Can I just change in? Let me... Give me a moment. I'm going to change back into my normal clothes. Right, I'll be right here. Oh. Well, there you are. You look less like a twat now. Carry on. Now, it seems that the Peaky uh, Blinders, they lie within St. Denis, is where they're uh, from. He wants me to make this payment in three days of $20. But I ain't gonna pay him. I'm not gonna let some other outlaw try to put me in a situation. Especially when I told him I am a man of like-minded Ideas. You what? 
And he was not, listen to that, not one bit. So that makes me real angry to think that he can put one me. over me. Not all fucking criminals are friends. It's like, like, fucking New Alexandria. One I'm aware. One friends might be another group of enemies. Yeah, it ain't the same here, from what I've found. I always say that line when I find myself in trouble. You know, he had me at gunpoint. I was saying whenever I could to convince him. But I gave him an out. And I'm aware of what you're saying there, Johnny boy. I am. All right, well. You have any idea how to contact this fella? He sent you a letter, right? You can write back to him? Let me double check. I don't think he said a return address. Man, yeah, no return of address. I advise you don't pay him. And when he comes out looking for you, well, we'll, we'll fucking teach him a lesson, won't we? Oh, we will. He's gonna learn about the civil bastards on a real bad day. About what happens when you piss us off. Mm. Well, first off, I need guns. Lost everything back in Alexandria. <clears throat> All I got is this shitty shooter. Fucking useless. Look at it. How much money you got on hand so far? Since you're my fucking nothing, mate. One and only friend, I can give you a loan for now. Fuck that. Take it from someone. Yeah, I agree as well. There, innit? Looks pretty fucking quiet. I like you thinking. I wash the door. You black the fucking place. Shit. I think my wagon's gone as well. I don't think I have a horse. I have a horse. Let's go steal you a horse first. Hold on. This might do. I know where I can get you a horse for free as well. They're uh, trained just well enough. They ain't wild. They ain't nothing special either. Well, I'll show you where that is. All right, mate. I'd like to make a withdrawal. Watch the door, mate. And it's over. Stand and deliver. Said, and the fucking thing's over. Now, son, I'll make sure you do what he says, because he means business. I'll blow your fucking brains out, son. Right. Keep right in those bonds, you cunt. Now think about your family at home, what they might think. Shit, all right. Let's go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Hang on, let me look at this. <laughs> Ten dollars. Fuck all, mate. Ain't better than nothing. Now here, it's a little hard to make money, by the way. Where the fuck do I sell these? I don't know if you have not quite figured out myself just yet. But maybe we can go down to Van Horn area. I hear that's, uh, unprotected territory. What are we waiting for? I'm just uh, playing things out real quick. I'm far enough away from town, anyways. Alright, so we got $10. Let me take a look at my map here. Maybe about 11 or $11. More or less. Well, I believe there's a fence in Van Horn. I got $11 right here as well, like, if I can lend you as well. But we can also find some more places to hit as well. Uh, 
Let's go get ourselves a carriage. Come on now, Lottie. Come on. It's a goddamn rattler. Nothing to be scared of. Come on, look at one of those trains. I think back to that fucking high school. I still water for the days those were. I miss him. I enjoyed the tensing and the amount of money we got from him was definitely well worth it as well. Now, I'm gonna think of something. If things get too rough here in the east for us, we can hightail it west until things lie low. But we leave the west alone until we need to go there. How's that sound? I mean, I fucking hate the desert. Yeah, but it gives a place for us to run away if we need to run away. I'm gonna go buy an Emerald Ranch, get yourself a horse. I'm gonna take it down to St. Me. Since he doesn't know who you is, perhaps we go to St. Denis, you can poke around to see if you can discover who the uh, Peaky Binders might be. And meanwhile, I'll get myself a new outfit to blend in. I'll go buy O'Connell Leeway for a while. Alright. Bad news, by the way. I did see some more acquaintances as well. Uh, Mr. Biggs and uh, uh, Jimmy Lightfoot. Mr. Biggs is a deputy now, no longer an outlaw. Believe it or not. I never met Jimmy. He sounded like a fucking toss pot, though. What big's one of those fucking outlaws in Van Horn? You said he. What do you say you saw him? I saw Biggs over in Saint Denis wearing a shiny badge, looking over the Are masquerade you ball. Me? He's gone soft. I oh. never thought I'd see the day. The thing is, I don't know his angle just man. yet. I don't know if he's playing a game or if he actually has gone soft or not. I haven't had a chance to talk to him myself yet. And that's about seen with my own two eyes, I'll tell you that, Johnny boy. And Jimmy, I don't know if he's gonna be a problem. Uh, I heard from Marcus. Wild back that you know he knows what I was trying to do, but I never did it. And uh, that's been a long while since I've seen him, so maybe he let things go. Maybe he's still on the grudge, but he's a security boy now, or still is. I don't know if it's the same company or not. Did you ever see Nikolai after we did him in? Do we know he's dead? You talking about Nikolai? He's uh. Yeah. I saw a lot of terms of him. I don't even mean by did him in. We fucking shot him, didn't we? I thought you might be confused with uh, Marcus there. Uh, Nikolai, oh, Nikolai, last time I seen him, he helped us out with the, uh, what's it called, the damn um, hostage situation we took the judge. I haven't seen him since. Don't you remember? Well, I remember that. I'm not talking about Marcus, we're still looking for Marcus. We did him in. Right over here is you get some horses sometimes. You train horses in this fence when you see them. When they bring them back out here from the stables, grab one. We'll ride a Saint Denis. Got a better idea. What would that be? Yeah, I see. Mister. 
Well, there, sir. Pleasure to meet you. Now, me and my friend here have a need for your horse, just so you know. Try anything dumb, we're probably gonna kill you, just so you know. Hold it! If I was you, get off that horse. You want this? What the hell? You just... <laughs> Did you shoot the horse in the head? <laughs> You gotta speak up a bit, Johnny. Nothing to see here, mate. Nothing to see here. Yeah, keep your move on. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. All right, let's just scatter. Yeah, it looks like you're. Just just get... Yeah, you're a bit rusty, right. ain't you? I ain't shot a person in ages. I've been fucking living filthy rich off that train we're, ride. We're gonna take this right here. I just asked him for it, mate. Ain't got time. Get off. Come on. Where are we going anyway? Let's go, uh, let's go down to the roads for now then. We can, uh... I have a couple boxes on my horse back there of uh, my miracle cures that we can try to pawn off there uh, for some money. And maybe keep our eyes out for a mark. Maybe if uh, lucky, perhaps we can take ourselves to the bank there, get ourselves some more bonds, and ride on down to Van Horn, turn in those bonds you have. How does that sound right. to you? Fine. I need to get a new outfit though as well. I've got a third persona I'm working on. Winston. A Winston. And what will he sound like? Uh -huh. Well, he's a very well spoken gentleman, you see. Oh yes. You wouldn't think uh you would never suspect him for being a uh, well, a thief and a robber and a crook. You see, he's uh raised very well, apparently. Officer of the British Army, actually. Yeah, it's retired. Yes. <laughs> that is so goddamn against your nature right there. But it works. Yeah, what are you talking about? Winston's a lovely chap. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now, nah, I'm envious of you. I wish I could do voices like that. I do. Well. <laughs> Hey, you're a man of many talents, and I don't give you that, Johnny. A man of skills and talents, and a man I can rely on in this world against so many odds. Careful, mate. You keep calling me like that. I'm gonna have to up my rate. <laughs> Making me fucking blush. Nah, don't you blush now, you goddamn cold hearted killer. Let me tell you I said the army. No, I don't think you have actually. You didn't tell me much about your past besides uh your departure from uh the islands back there. Yeah. There's some truth to my past. Trust you. Some is exaggerated, some are completely lies. Yeah, I served in the 1st Warwickshire Regiment. Found myself uh, deployed in Sudan of all places. You know where Sudan is? I ever heard of Sudan myself, unfortunately. I don't know where it is either. All I know is it's fucking hot. It's kind of like a desert here. Maybe I'll tell you about it one day. Maybe over a drink, perhaps. But as it is now, we have the east to conquer. We might as well enjoy the weather as it is until we have to go west in the future. Or maybe we might get a boat to Cuba. What a fool. 
I want to park this uh, this wagon somewhere and we'll, we'll do our business. Five minutes. I'll be right here, pawning my wares.